welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind. I accidentally skipped over the judge. Cause yeah, I was, it's okay. I'll, I'll read off his line just, of what he said. He said, the court is now back in session for the trial of Will Powers. Yeah, I was trying to make sure I clicked back onto the screen after I pressed record. So uh, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> Anyway, in the last one, we talked to Salmonella on the on the witness stand, and he claims that, uh, apparently, no one left, but they did have a break. But the, the monkey fell during that time, so no one could have left and went to Studio One during that time. Yeah. I want to check something, though, real quick. Yeah, go, go for it. So it's this, this was at 2 p.m., and Jack Hammer died at 2.30. Yep. Couldn't this have just been Jack? Maybe. Cause when did the monkey fall? Monkey fell at two fifteen. Yeah, but and it didn't get picked up until four. So what, I, what I'm what I'm thinking is, cause cause uh, reviewing reviewing back through a little bit of uh of what we have been done. Yeah, what we have been done. <laughs> what we had done before. Mm -hmm. Um. And what we had found out was that, so yeah, this this blocked away at 2.15, which makes me believe that this couldn't have been any of the, uh, any of the people that were up there. So, cause like, what I was thinking before was that it was Salmonella, mm -hmm. but I was like, number one, he's fat as fuck, and Will Powers isn't. Uh, number two, uh, he was stuck up there, mm -hmm. so he wouldn't have access to... Will Powers' dressing room, unless of course there was a spare costume and he headed over at two, mm -hmm. and then went up there uh, at like two fifteen or something like that. Okay. But um, but aside from from that, if we're taking the most logical route and like the most straightforward route, this is probably Jack Hammer because he's the only one that could have known about the injury besides. You know, Will Powers himself, mm -hmm. who was sleeping, and we have sleeping pills. Yeah. That, that, that means that he was probably passed out. Mm -hmm. And there was Old Bag, who couldn't have worn this. Yeah, because they already told, like, said that she didn't even fit into the spare one that they had. Yeah, and there was also Ves Vesquez, the like producer. Yeah, Vesquez, yeah. And uh, Salmonella, the director. And they were stuck up, uh, up in the other area. Mm -hmm. um, they said they had been there since, like, noon. I think is when they said. Yeah. So, so I think that this was actually Jack Hammer that was wearing that was wearing the outfit. So that's your theory right now with this case. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck he was wearing the outfit, mm -hmm. but I think it has something to do with the fact that that he's wearing he's wearing this uh, outfit, trying to. Uh, go across. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he was like jealous of Will Powers because mm -hmm. like Will Powers has like the main role, and he like wanted to wanted to try it out, try to try out the outfit and <laughs> act himself. I don't know. So, I don't it could, know. could be something like that. All but right. but, that, but that's your theory going into this. Yeah, I think right. I think I think this is this is him. I don't know who killed him, because because mm -hmm. obviously he's still dead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't and I don't know how he got into the he switched from this to the evil magistrate. Yeah. Like I don't I don't know how how that happened. But and then obviously there's uh, the area at Studio 2 that had the broken thing and I noticed that they're oddly similar to the shape of the samurai sphere, mm -hmm. which makes me think that that's how he was killed. But I still don't know who would have done it. It probably would have it probably should have been one of the people up up top, but I don't know how they would have gotten his body to Studio One. Mm. Well, like, like, like every single time I have a e possible explanation, another question comes up. Yeah, because like, that's it though that you're thinking, and that's what the audience would want to see of like you trying to piece this together before shit gets revealed and and yeah, I, I, out to you. I just wanted to raise my thoughts before uh, we get into this trial. Yeah, to do a shit ton of reading. <laughs> yeah, so summarize, summarizing what I'm thinking. This this photo, this this photo right here, this is Jack Hammer. Okay. Um, somehow he makes it to Studio Two and dies off of I don't know, just fucking. He goes, oh banana peel, and slips and falls and 
onto the <laughs> onto the thing, um, and it, it could it could be a suicide. Like it could have just been a a whoopsie daisy. Yeah. So but if he dies here too, then I mean someone else just grabbed his body and made it feel like he was murdered. Then. Yeah, that that and, and that's the point that I was gonna make is, yeah. uh, well, that's my working theory right now is that he crossed over and made it to Studio Two. I don't know how he got to Studio One. I don't know how he got into the other costume, and I don't know whether it was an accident or someone maliciously like killed him. Mm -hmm. um, but hey. And, and I don't know what happened to this outfit either, right? Cause, yeah, cause, cause they no one can find it. Yeah, because they mentioned that this is missing. Yeah. And uh, and obviously, like it's 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 the outfit. It's it's his spear and everything. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know, that's that, that's my point. But hey. So so I haven't I haven't connected the dots yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, that's just a theory though. A game a theory. A game theory. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yep. Uh, I feel like I feel like I'm halfway there. I could totally be wrong. Yeah, we could just also still be missing some evidence that that like could point to something else. <laughs> I mean, this could just straight up be Will Powers, and I yeah. and I don't know. <laughs> He's been guilty this entire time. Well, well, okay. <laughs> if this if this isn't Jack Hammer, then in my opinion, it's Will Powers, okay. and and he actually did all of this and he's just like you know he's an actor so yeah. he, he might he be he could have just been acting like an act like like a scary little guy yeah but in reality he's like a major douchebag on, on set <laughs> yeah so my my first theory is the the one that i talked about my second one is just that this is will powers yeah and if if I, I will... if there's something else that happened here and they bring in some new evidence mm -hmm. then i'll reevaluate but i'll also be really confused <laughs> Because I'll have no idea what's going on. Like, if they say, oh yeah, this was actually just two kids that were in, <laughs> that were in the outfit. Yeah, it was, it was Cody and some other kid that we have never seen before. It, 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 it could be them, and, and they just like... They're, they're using a spear to hold themselves up, and they're like, alright, now left left foot, alright, and then right and, foot. And, and, they're, and, they're, and they're like, we gotta take this home to put in our, like, shrine. Yeah, and they're like, oh my god, from the, from the official Globio Studio set. <laughs> yeah. Alright. But, but anyways, alright, I'll, I'll, I'll continue on we're, with the actual trial. Alright. The prosecution has a concern, as our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case. We worry that the defense might cause <laughs> unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth talking about moral high ground. <laughs> However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. I'm about to hack you up, asshole. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's so short. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Oh, oh, right, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Oh, of course you guys have fucking donuts in the courtroom. This <laughs> guy's got a camera in. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Yeah, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> witness! What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. How about you witness dick in your mouth? <laughs> 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 Cody? Did you just backwash all that? I didn't backwash anything! I'm drinking my peach tea thing. Answer his question, okay? Uh, uh hey, it's you and the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins, I'm in second grade. I guess the feeling... I, wait, I get the feeling that this is going to be a long, long day. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. Please remember that you're speaking to a child. <laughs> Try to be gentle. <laughs> Did he just get honest like the defense is gonna give us- give the child trauma? <laughs> <laughs> he backed out real quick. <laughs> yeah. Witness, or I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with his gentle thing. <laughs> oh, I can show him a different way- never mind. <laughs> you were present, or, uh, I mean, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, er, uh, incident? He doesn't know how to talk to a child. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just, Mr. Edgeworth will be- I prefer bearded gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> a very long day. <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. My, um, my apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission, if that's possible. Wait! <laughs> Wait, so you're saying you had a bargain with them? 
<laughs> Dude, Barney turns to the kid and you lost? <laughs> okay, that is kind of funny then. Ed Edgeworth has been doing case after case, getting a guilty verdict after guilty verdict, and the only two obstacles that have stand before him is an old woman and this second grader. <laughs> He can handle cold-blooded murderers, but he can't ha handle a, a seven-year-old and, and <laughs> yeah, an old, old bag. Yeah. Hey, I got my new- I just got my new camera. Don't really know how to use it at all good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. I, you better make a note of that in the court record. Uh, Cody's camera! New digital camera. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. <laughs> no! Walks off the donut cart. <laughs> I wanted to see the Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and then went to the studio that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I was kind of lost on the way though for about like 30 minutes. When I came out of the studio, there was the Steel Samurai! It was- it totally rocked right before my eyes came out the bad guy! Of course, the Steel Samurai took him out! Whew. If I had my camera with me, I would have been had the shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember you're talking to a child. Asshole. <laughs> this kid is tougher than most adults I have been in here, honestly. <laughs> Alright, time to press him on everything because he's a child. Yeah, trying to fucking yell at this kid. I wanted to see the Seal Samurai rehearsal just once. You really like the Seal Samurai, huh? Of course I do. I take every show, and I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Wait, 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 but before we go any further, yeah. I, 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 so I've been thinking while, you, while you're reading. Um, oh, I almost vomited. <laughs> I meant to bring, I meant to bring this up like, like three, three seconds ago. But, yeah. Um, he said that he wanted to see the rehearsal. Yeah. He saw the Steel Samurai. What time was he... Did it, did it say what time he was at the, uh, at the studios at? No. He just said he... He wanted to go there, he found a path online to cut through the woods, but he got lost for 30 minutes and then he saw the Steel Samurai kill a guy. Well, no, he said the Steel Samurai defeated the villain. So, but the angle that he was looking at didn't look like it was in Studio 1 or Studio 2. It looked like it was in the middle of a path. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe when he was taken. Remember when the picture was taken at like 2 p.m.? Maybe he saw him walking the path and then followed him. Yeah. Hmm. So he said. Okay, so he said he <laughs> saw him defeat the villain, which would somewhat mean that he saw. Uh, that he saw the Steel Samurai killing Jack Hammer. But. That would, but that would only fall in line with my theory that it's actually Will Powers. Yeah. <laughs> because no, no one else was in the evil magistrate outfit, and that's the only villain he could be talking about. Mm-hmm. Unless he's lying. I don't know. We can still press him on more shit. We're still at the first. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pushing. I'm just putting my thoughts. Yeah, out yeah. Of course, duh. My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. <laughs> I found a map on the internet and went to the studio that day. Was that day the first time you've been to the studio? Um, actually, I've been there a couple times. I never managed to get there on the rehearsal day. And that security lady is always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk if you keep cutting me off all the time? Jeez. <laughs> oh, you got I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. You mean this old lady? <laughs> Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in the valley there? If you go off the path there, there's woods, and that's where I was. Okay, so he was- so like I was saying, he was in these woods. Yeah. I see. Anyway... I was going for the studio. 
Which one? Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but this guy wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio. I got kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. Yeah, I, I wonder if he's going to say what time it was. You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. And guess what happened next? When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. He looked like he was thinking about something before going in. And then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked. Right before my eyes came out the bad guy. Okay, I want to know what bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy, a person, kind of tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kind of far away. Huh, he's being awfully vague. What? I, I'm not... <laughs> of course the seal samurai took him down. Flop! What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Well, he kind of didn't move... Not a bit like he was dead. I, I guess he was a real good pro. What a good actor. Yeah, I suppose he was. <laughs> if I had my camera with me, I would have been able to... Wait. If I have... <laughs> Thanks. If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. That's contradictory. Really? To, to I guess said. seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix. Remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, puppy farm. Easy for you to say. I went to still see Sam I heard, so just oh okay, I refreshed. It was the studio kind of got lost. So it was the cooler rock. Of course, you Sam right. If I had my camera with me, I would have gotten kind of shy. I tell you. Cody, what you just said seems a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always carry your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. <laughs> <laughs> that should be that should be your thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah, if I could find that sprite. <laughs> huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Oh, <laughs> approach the bench. <laughs> What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? <laughs> it's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of like a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, you can't- I can't believe that you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Uh... Erection! No- <laughs> I have one! <laughs> <laughs> For that man across me, <laughs> Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. Bitch! I don't care if he's a child or a, a what? Or a prosecuting attorney. Thank you. Prosecuting attorney. No one's your lying court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? You know exactly what I mean. <laughs> well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I have a camera, so what? I got, you got a problem with that? He's, he's on a box. <laughs> yeah. So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Alright. What I saw... Yeah, I had my camera... Objection! <laughs> Sleeping pills! <laughs> I had a camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I didn't want to take my eyes off of it. The seal samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! And then, and then the bad guy stopped moving. He was so strong. This your samurai rules. That's it. That's what you saw. <laughs> no. Hmm. Doubt. Oh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross examination. You got it. All right. Let's see where is it. Yeah, I had my camera with me. So why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. 
But I was glued to the action, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. So, you were watching the Seal Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once. No. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. The Seal Samurai, he goes to the bad guy. So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person! He was a person! How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Seal Samurai. I see, and we'll have it next. Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Seal Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? Uh, how did he do it? With the Samurai kick, and a Samurai punch, and a Samurai chop, and a Samurai slap. Something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How can I play this? Hmm. I feel like if we... If I press him harder, the judge is gonna get mad at us. He's gonna be like, "Why are you pushing this kid to say to say such things?" Uh, d do what M Mia said. Uh, gentle but firm words. Yeah. Wait. Waiting and see what happens. I, I feel, feel like that just says like. Yeah. You do I, I feel. Like, I feel like that's not gonna do anything. Even if this is a bad thing, I do want to press him harder. Yeah. I want more details. Cause I don't, I don't see anything that I could catch him with here. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so what? Yet yeah, you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection! Lack of relevance! Objection! Lack of bitches! <laughs> you know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a, a samurai slap? Mm. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight, but you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order. Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Uh, well, mm, that's a thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't you watch the climax of the fight? Show evidence. You couldn't... What do we have in evidence? What were you... <laughs> what are you smiling about? I'm not smiling about anything. I think... Wait, he was watching something else? He couldn't watch it. Or show evidence. <laughs> okay, so my, my logic right now yeah. is... Along the track of... So he has Path to Glory, right? It contains photos of every victory scene in every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I think that he was trying to get a picture of like the the climax mm -hmm. like he want because uh he wants to add it to this the scrapbook uh i think i think that's my general gist of it which i don't know if that means that i need to show evidence or he was watching something else or he couldn't watch it that's the thing i don't know what like the point i'm getting at is he was wanting to take a picture of it of what of what happened but i don't get i don't know which of these most closely aligns with that Maybe he was watching something else, but... No, he was watching something else would make sense, because he literally said that his his eyes were... Uh... Were locked on the fight. So if he couldn't watch it... So it's either show evidence or he couldn't watch it. Like I, like I said before, I kind of feel like whenever I'm at a crossroads... I kind of feel like choosing the option that seems like, 
I guess, more out there. Mm -hmm. uh, not as, like, straightforward. I don't know what reasoning he would be exactly. He couldn't watch it. My thought process is, uh... He couldn't watch it because he was trying to figure out how to use his camera. Hmm. That's that's my that's my idea of it, which is what I'm gonna say. Because he couldn't watch it. How could he calmly watch a murder take a um, fuck a murder take place at his age? Oh shit. Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, uh... I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? We have a certain that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't you watch the climax of the fight? Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why didn't Cody look away from the fight? This is what this is what I want to present. I feel like this is not not right though because I feel like this is out more out there. Uh, this is like a more out out there. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Here's my proof. Proof. Um. Uh, can I do that again? This doesn't prove anything. <laughs> well, I've lost your nerve, have you? Very well. I'll ask you the question again. We have a certain that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't you watch the climax of the fight? Alright, I have evidence, evidence. Yes, your honor. Why didn't Cody look away from the f- Attorney's badge! I don't think it's the attorney's badge, Doc. <laughs> Maybe it is the camera. Because like, he's still trying to figure out how to use it, right? Yeah, that, that's, that's one thing that I was thinking of. Or that he wasn't there for the murder. Like, it could have been that- he wasn't there at, at the right time, but... Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he has recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar about its operation. I'm aware of that too. Oh! Correct! That's... Why could Cody be looking elsewhere at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is like the point that I was trying to make. Yeah, it's kind of like when some crap happens, you're like, oh shit, hold on, and you, like, go, like, you open your phone, pull up the camera, and then you point it and shit. Yeah, and and this is the point that I was trying to make when I when I said, oh, uh, let me let me do the, because he, he, he wanted to record the climax of the fight, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which is why I was doing, like, the scrapbook. Yeah. But I guess the camera is, since it, since it says in there, I guess that's the more appropriate answer. Yeah. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize that there was no way he could have stood there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody? There was only one reason why you have had to look away from the fight. And it was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Hm. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything that he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Yeah, it means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify one more time. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera, and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Hmm. Welcome to the real world, kid. Is this how they interview kids for the, uh... <laughs> no, no photo? <laughs> no bitches? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Pop. This is, the Zeal Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens didn't open in time and I missed it. That's all that happened, yep. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> He's so sad. 
Yeah, you're right, Pops. <laughs> what am I right about? <laughs> Pops? Yeah, I called you Pops, you spiky haired geezer. Geezer. <laughs> 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 What is this conversation? <laughs> That's what I hate about grown-ups. You're all so self-conscious. Okay, off with the gloves, kid. Testify, witness, testify. <laughs> Yips. The seal samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So the villain grabbed him? So you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, um... I guess the seal samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strange? So I held up my camera to take a picture. Why didn't you take a picture? My new camera had way too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Um, well, a person on the ground and a steel samurai. Th that's all that happened, yep. That's all? Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I could use. If I were in his shoes and I was a fan like that, I would have 100% taken a picture yeah. regardless. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How did you know? I see. Right through your lies, Cody Hacks. It's one of my powers. Wow. This feels great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. Yeah, yeah. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Erased them? You erased them? Yeah. So why why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai Victorious? Well, you know, why would I take a- why would I want to keep a picture like that? Uh, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I bet better find a clear contradiction soon or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid is all about. I found a steel samurai, held up my camera, the lens didn't open. I took a few shots, but I erased them. This is the last one, right? Yeah. It's a scrapbook. Cody. So I was on the right track to begin with. Yeah. I, it's just I, I think I'm getting like that. I understand like the premise behind what what we're supposed to be getting to, but mm -hmm. I'm just a little bit too early because I think I did that in the last in the last trial too. Yeah. <laughs> I brought I brought up something that was like needed needed later. Yeah. But at least I'm on the right track. Man, everything easy, Cody. You followed up with something bad. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, that's right. What was it that you told me then? I got every live performance. I always take a picture when the Seal Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Cody? Did you really take a picture of the Seal Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ugh. Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Seal Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's as a perfect co as a perfect collection of every battle the Seal Samurai has won. I I see. Don't you find this odd, Your Honor? Among all these pictures of the Seal Samurai, none were taken that day. Order, Mr. Wright. Have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No, wait. There's no way. Phoenix? I think you finally discovered the truth. And what truth it is. Mia, are you sure about this? 
Did he actually... Yes? I'm pretty sure that's what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Yeah, okay. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Seal of Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those pictures. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way! No! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone! Never! Mmm. So, what, I, what I'm thinking again... I'm thinking that my first theory was actually on the nose. So I'm thinking that uh, because because Will Powers was injured, Jack Hammer wanted to like make him look weak, and so he made sure to get the photo where he's like limping, and then made sure to like get someone to like fight with him, and then have the Steel Samurai lose, and because he because I'm guessing he saw Cody and like noticed he was there with his camera and whatnot, mm -hmm. and wanted to wanted to get the idea out there that the Steel Samurai is weak. Uh, to like, you know, put Will Powers down uh, compared to him because mm -hmm. he's like he's like this A-list actor that's fallen from grace. It's like it's like when freaking uh, what what what's what's his name? Um, what's the actor that was in that like shitty like FNAF, uh, like this shitty FNAF ripoff? Oh. Uh... Oh, Nicolas Cage. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like how Nicolas Cage is in that movie. Yeah. It's like, it's like something like that. It's like you have your A-list actor that's in that's in like some some shit movie, and and it's like, it's like why it's like why is he there? Mm -hmm. uh, and then and then like Jack that's like Jack Hammer's position, and and so he's like trying to make Will Powers seem shit so that he, you know he seems better, in. Uh, in like you know the flip side way. Mm -hmm. That's that's my theory. Now why is he doing that? I guess I don't know. He just maybe he wants to be the Steel Samurai, uh, and so he's trying to show that Will Powers is weak and his whole point in like wearing the costume. Well, I don't know. I don't know why he would do that. Mm -hmm. But the I I I have a feeling about that. You got a feeling. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's that's my before we push any further. That's, All right. That's my conclusion. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious pictures. My, my original thought was uh, that my my uh, suspicions were on the nose, and that like, uh, like Jack Hammer did the scene. Like, uh, yeah, you smacked me. <laughs> And, and and like Jack Hammer did the like the whole thing with the Steel Samurai and the and the bad guy, but then he took off like the the mask and it was revealed that it was that it was Jack Hammer mm -hmm. instead. And Cody was like, "Well, I don't want I don't want like it to seem like a like you know because because he knows that Jack Hammer plays like the evil magistrate. Mm -hmm. So I thought that like Cody was like, "Oh, I don't want it to be leaked out there that like this cool scene was actually not played by." By Will Powers, but then like the idea came into my mind, like, oh well, that wouldn't that wouldn't matter yeah. because his whole idea is to steal samurai is cool, yeah. so it wouldn't have mattered either way. But this this makes more sense. Yeah. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the steel samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the steel samurai lose, yet he admitted that he s what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said that the Seal Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth! <laughs> oh, order, I will have order. Witness, I mean, Cody, is this true? W what did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... <laughs> Cody? That day, you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. 
the seal zamory fell down and then he didn't move. <laughs> huh. I wonder I wonder if Well, because I still don't know where this is taking place. I don't know if this is Studio One or Studio Two or anything like that. Because he said that the monkey hadn't fallen down yet, so this could be a student a studio two. Mm. So maybe when he said a steel samurai fell, maybe Maybe he fell on like the spike? I don't know. So, Maybe he'll tell us where the, where he saw the, the shit take place. Yeah. That's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that when he said the steel samurai fell down, that's when he fell on like the, the spike. Mm -hmm. But then that would mean that he he died in the in the steel samurai outfit, but that I don't know. I don't know if that's right because uh, because he was in the evil magistrate outfit mm -hmm. later, so I don't I don't know, but. Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull right? <laughs> your pants and everyone. <laughs> the Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? I don't know, Your Honor. <laughs> Apparently, we have made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Was a victim. Steel Samurai was a victim. There was no victim. Hmm. So yeah, what I'm thinking. So Steel Samurai was the victim. Okay. Jack Hammer being in the suit means that when he fell, he probably fell onto the spike. Mm-hmm. And so what I'm, what I'm thinking is that this wasn't an accident then. It was someone had to have pushed him while he was in that Steel Samurai outfit, and he landed on that spike, and and that's what like impaled him. Mm -hmm. And whoever did it tried to stage it to be, uh, to be like, you know, Will to like put all the blame on Will Powers. Mm -hmm. I don't know who quite would have done that, but it's so, like I have a I have an idea. I know what's what's going on here. At least if this option is the right one. Um, I think I know what happened, but I don't know who did it and why. If you understand, what really happened is quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Seal Samurai fell on the ground and laid still. In other words, the Seal Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Seal Samurai. Order, order, order. So the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew that Will Powers is about Will Powers' foot injury. Okay. But wait. Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldback said in her testimony? Not on that day, the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 2, what, 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He had already gone to Studio One before I got to the early guard station. Oh, she's just at the studio. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Oh, okay. So I didn't think about this scene with the new evidence that we have. So... Maybe, maybe Jack Hammer planted the sleeping pills on him, then, uh, then wanted to, like, make him look bad in the Steel Samurai outfit? Or maybe Jack Hammer wanted to record the scenes as the Steel Samurai mm -hmm. instead of Will Powers, uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. And so he took the outfit with the intention of doing that, mm -hmm. uh, while Will Powers was, would be asleep. And, uh, and then, and then someone killed him? Something like that? Yeah. Uh, so maybe, maybe, maybe it wasn't, like, he was trying to do, like, some publicity stunt or something like that and, like, make him look bad. Mm -hmm. It was just that he wanted to be the Steel Samurai and be, like, this ki this person that, like, all the kids idolize. Mm -hmm. And so he was like, he was like, fuck you, Will Powers, you can go, you can go sleep in your, in your little dressing room. I'm gonna handle this. Yeah. Which would make sense because then, obviously, if if he's 
taking a bunch of sleeping pills, he would sleep straight through Jack Hammer coming in and taking the costume and everything, and he wanted to play it off that, uh, that like, everything was normal, so that's why he was, like, walking with a limp, because mm -hmm. he wanted to imitate Will Powers' injuries yeah. and whatnot. Uh, but I don't know his reasoning for going to, to, like, because I bet it's about to mention here that he, w he went to Studio 2, but I don't know his reasoning for that. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. He then snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Oh my god, my legs. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm right there, I'm right there with you. I get it. What? I thought the Steel Samurai was moving strange. But it was a different person inside the suit. Pops. Not me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Uh, data? Yeah, a photo of the, from my digital camera. <gasps> oh shit. What? <laughs> Show us quick. No way, man. If you're not, if not if you're gonna look at me like that. No. <laughs> Here, this is it. Oh, it's Studio 2. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I, was, I was like, well, I was looking at the... You look at the was, ass and you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> no, I was, I was looking at the at the Steel Samurai. I was like, I was, I was thinking, I was like, are his hands like always out of the... <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look like that? <laughs> yeah. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Maya? What? Look at that photo one more time. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? <laughs> Your Honor, may I see that photo one more time, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, distinctive, inconce... Hold on. Inconce... Inconsentive? Wait. In <laughs> Spell it out. In consistency? There you go. Yay! With the facts that we know that are in this photo. Dang, dang Mia, I didn't, I didn't know you struggled with, with the words like, Shut like the that. Shut the fuck up. I was trying. I was sounding it out. Finally, what, find that in the photo. <laughs> His ass. <laughs> Your Honor, he is not caked up. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh yes, well it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? <gasps> oh. And just blew his panties off. <laughs> I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but... That's impossible! Hmm? Eh? What's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use the Studio Guide map. The body was found here at Studio One. However, what we see in this photo... Wait, oh, however, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate of the photo. Your Honor. Here is the true scene of the crime. To the judge where the murder took place. The <laughs> Take that! Take that. <laughs> Here, at Studio 2. I see. That would explain the 2 on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place at Studio 2. The trailer is there at the top of the block. No filming is done there. Hmm. The trailer is there. I don't think that makes sense. The path was blocked. I mean, the path was blocked. No filming is done there. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 
In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in that trailer was guilty because they couldn't have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only people in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. As you may recall, this there's a trailer at Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was being held in that very trailer. There was a break in that in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During the breaks, Mr. Salmonella and Miss and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. <laughs> order, order. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the the, the person that the security guard, Miss Olback, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, sold the Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a Steel Samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. Uh... Wait, we still have the sleeping pills. I have proof. Y you do? <laughs> you do, Mr. Wright? Now they are so surprised. Suddenly, I'm, I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's the proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. He went to go take a nap. How would he have known that he was taking, like, gonna be asleep during that time? This is it! In a, no. <laughs> An empty medicine bottle? I found this at the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The, lab, the label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, Spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Oh! Okay, examining Hammer's body, I don't... It's not gonna do shit. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Test powers his blood. The drug way would go through yeah. it, so it wouldn't so say anything. So I think it's anything. fingerprinting the bottle. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprint should show up on this bottle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle taken to judge. My god, you are right! This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Oh my god. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two, and those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor, this trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. <laughs> Very well. Court is adjourned. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are we about to get a two to be continued? Yeah, we should be able to. Phew! That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. <laughs> Me too. R really? You both seem so so confident. Ah, uh, maybe you sh I should. 
Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pounce you. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. <laughs> Me too. Damn, guys. D dead. Oh, of course, we're kidding. Are, are you sure? Acting. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to make. We have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right. Thanks. All right. So how you feel? You can just leave it on that screen. I'll save it in a second. Okay. Or you, <laughs> or you could just not. <laughs> no, it, it does that automatically. Oh, it does? Shit, I didn't know that. I thought it would stay on the, the screen. What the fuck are you talking about? I didn't know! <laughs> Alright, how do you feel? I'm feeling like my suspicions were confirmed in this episode. Yeah. Maybe some but... of your theories will be answered during our investigation in the next one. Yeah, but I don't know, because we've only had two notable characters that were in Studio 2 being Salmonella in the producer. Mm -hmm. I, I don't feel like saying her name. I don't know which of the two of them has motive to kill him. I don't know why he took the suit other than like, like I said, trying to be like, maybe he wants to be the Steel Samurai. That's, that's my only, that's my only thoughts on it. But, um, but other than that, I'm, I'm glad at least I feel like I was somewhat right. Like, you know, I thought I thought it, I thought he was trying to like make Will Powers look bad, but I think he's trying to make himself look good instead. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he, and I think he did die in Studio Two, but how how he died, I feel like I, I feel like it's on that that little spike, but. I don't know, it could have been the spear. Oh, since we they everyone knows now that the real crime was at Studio 2, maybe we'll actually find some evidence. Because there'll be police and shit actually investigating that area now. Yeah. But um but yeah, I guess I guess we'll get to go take a look back at at uh at Studio Two in the next one. Yep. So thank you all for watching. Yep. And see you next time. Yep. Bye bye. bye.